sorry. Hello, 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 everyone. My name is Charles, and I want to welcome you to Philippines After Dark, your digital magazine for about how living healthy, wealthy, and wise. And my with my beautiful co-host Michelle with her very Australian Filipino accent. How are <laughs> you this morning? Doing great, doing great, really good. Thank you, Charles. Um, yep. Okay. Hello, everyone. What color are we today? What color are we today? <laughs> Last night we were talking about what was your what was your happy color, and I said I'm... we could be whatever color we want to be, and we could change it on a daily basis. What is your color? I reckon it is yellow today. Really? Yellow. I'm thinking right. yellow, but I want orange instead. I put it on. I try to I try to wear the colors. Well, I don't have because... any yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe maybe that's a hint. You should put some stuff in your wardrobe. Yeah, more colorful uh, clothes instead of black and white. <laughs> well, black and white. Make Pretty a note much of that. Mm. By the, mm. by, you know, when uh, I was studying the Feng Shui design of the home, they talk about your favorite colors and fa uh, home designers they take a look in your closet and mm. they look at what your primary colors are because that's really going to speak to your personality because you're picking your clothes based yeah. on what you what fits you and they take clues wow. from that yeah well, little very interesting. bits of information very good. <laughs> bits of information yeah okay um so we want to welcome everyone to our broadcast where we talk about health, relationships, and money. We recently had a, a community poll, and I asked everyone what did they want us to cover. To my surprise, you don't want to hear anything about Filipino women. Thank you very much. We're not going to do any of that. However, the other two topics are going to be about money issues, how to save money, how to make money, things of that nature. And then the other part of that is going to be health. How do we protect and improve our health? Because health is a form of wealth. So we want to thank the viewers that voted on that poll. Stay tuned in the community tab because we're going to be making a more, more use of that. Now, Earlier this week, there was a post we put out there, a video about what do you bring to the table? And it was about things going on here in the Philippines. And there have been some, I'm going to just keep it real, there's been some murders. All right. And there was a second one. You want to talk about that, Michelle? Yeah, well, um, I was just quite shocked, you know, coming across this news. Of it. Um, yeah, this Australian and his Filipino wife, um, they had came over here to visit family and um, they were found uh, dead in their hotel condo room. Yes. Right. They have a video of the guy that went in there. I watched yeah. it. And they yeah. talked about how the woman was actually bound they didn't say what happened to the man. Um, oh, I knew. Huh? Pretty gross. Pretty gruesome. I think he. he what did you, you know What did you get out of it? Because I stop. I stopped there. I don't. Oh. I don't. I don't go into the gruesome details. I, I don't like nightmares. So oh, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't do people that. nightmares. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty gruesome find. Yeah. Um, the hands tied in the back and the. I'd rather not say. I just I don't feel okay. Cool, saying, cool. Sorry. Don't, sorry, don't, I shouldn't have brought don't. it up. Sorry. Anyways. No, 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 no. Realize this is about health and about relationships. Yeah. And even though we're not talking directly about Filipino women, mm. we're talking about your health mm. and relationships. And these three and money, these three topics tend to to fold into each other. Yes. So so yeah, I. Yes. He was married to, I, he came over here with the Filipino woman. They'd been over here a long time. I mean, they hadn't been here. They came here for some event. Anyway, 
moving on from that. About bringing what you bring to the table. Mm. We're going to go into the health aspect of this. Michelle, how, what kind of diet, what, what does your eating plan look like? Um, so during like during the week, I, I have a meat free diet. Um, so, um, I tend just to, I know I probably, there's a bit of carbs involved, so just pasta, potatoes, um, and, um, legumes like red kidney beans, or uh, um, uh, salmon or prawns. So yeah, so during the week, that's what I eat. And on the weekend, mm. I have um, either chicken or beef or pork. Why do you put um, the red meat on on the weekend? I don't know. It's just, I haven't asked myself. I like <laughs> weird. <laughs> That's a bit weird. Why is she doing that? I, I, I have done that in the last couple of years. Um, yeah, my, my, my significant other, he started that. He, he he started to become more conscious in what he's been putting in his body. Um, right. And, yeah, so, um, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll give it a shot. Why not? But, um, but you know, I, I, just, I still like eating mm. my meat. I need meat, you know. I need my iron. I need my protein, right? Uh, right, um, okay. Yeah, so I don't know why I'm just leaving the meat to the weekend. Maybe it's just, a, maybe it's just um, you know, it's the weekend. Let's celebrate, you know. Right, <laughs> <Let's eat> right. <laughs> Well, 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 one of the uh, things that uh, Lud had brought up and what I've looked at is the health issues here in the Philippines and that expats come here and they adopt that eating style and plan here and it causes health issues. Uh, As a matter of fact... William, the other guy who's in the Philipp- is back in the States right now, he went to his doctor. He had to go through colonoscopy and all that stuff. And they actually found some elevated cholesterol in his body mm. because he'd been eating that rice. I said, yeah. I'm not doing that because I've always had to monitor my weight issues. And it comes from some nerve damage problems that I experienced as my in my childhood. So my body monitors stress in a different kind of way. So my I, I do the best I can, but I did find a way to manage it successfully. That's why, you, if you know, Michelle, I've been focusing getting on a keto eating plan back in place. I was eating keto style back in the States and I found that number one, it helped manage my blood pressure. It kept my weight. I actually had lost weight until pre-COVID, but as when COVID came in, I couldn't keep up with the plan. And so now I fell off of it and now I'm trying to get back on it uh, real seriously. Cause you know, we were looking at um, tarot. The tarot reading was talking about what I was going to start getting into. And I remember actually you was you were here and they were talking, we were watching it on YouTube. And the lady said, uh, you know, you're gonna change how you dress and you fixing the go hermit mode and work set up an inside gym and and she was talking about the the tarot lady was actually describing what was going on. I was really doing that. So that's another aspect of this channel. The God principles is to go into the principles that as a lifestyle, because I like to show people on this channel what we actually do here in the Philippines to live this life, because it's really different from being in America. For instance, it's always hot here. So I don't we don't go through these cycles. Mm. You know, four seasons. What no. is that like to you, for you? What is that like for you, Michelle? Um, I love, I love hot weather. I love, I'd rather be, I'd rather feel hot than cold, you know? Mm-hmm. 
like in Australia, there are four seasons and when winter comes, it's just miserable for me. I just, I hated it. Absolutely hated it. But yeah, no, really? look, I, yeah, it's miserable. You know, you have to layer and layer, put layers on and then it's cold and it's grey and it's, yeah, it's, I hate it. <laughs> my, feet get, my toes get cold and numb, my fingers get numb and uh, anyway. I'd rather be nice and hot and, you know, I know the humidity, um, it gets to me at times, but, you know, it's the Philippines, what, what can you do? But I love, I love it. I love the climate here. Okay. Yeah. So, so you've never been to Baguio? No, I have not. I hear that the temperatures there. can get. Yeah. There's snow there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so, quite uh, cold there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's the strawberry capital here in mm. the Philippines, and mm. strawberries are very healthy and keto friendly. And I was really surprised to hear that they had that here. That really surprised me. Yeah. Yep. You you met someone from Baguio when when let's see, did you meet her? No, she's on the channel though. She's one of the couples that I interviewed. Uh, oh, she's from there. Okay. She talks about how uh, they have the strawberry festival in Baguio and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've heard all of that. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's, that covers the health aspect. That's the things that we wanted to cover. Mm. And if you want to hear more, subscribe for more health issues, health plans. Mm. Um, also, we're offering consulting services. If anyone needs to consult about their eating plan, their coaching through some systems, because I'm a certified life coach and I have a program if you want to stop smoking. I've got a plan program for that because I was a smoker. Oh! That's what it was. Mm -hmm. Michelle, you're a smoker. Yes, I am. Why are you smoking? Mm. I know. I know it's I know it's a very, very, very bad habit I need to kick. Mm. I've been smoking since I was fifteen. And yeah, you know, obviously, you know, when you're that, you know, when you're a teenager, you want to look cool, you know, in front of your friends, and I, you know, it just started up, and I just never, never stopped. Mm hmm So, what events came around you smoking, though? I think there's a time when I started to rebel. Um, yeah, I'm just mixing up the wrong type of people. Um, they didn't make you start smoking. No, that was my choice. I understand that. I I choose to st I choose to try it. Yes. So why did you choose it? You know, to be to look cool in front of my friends. You know, I don't, I don't want to be seen as a a wimp for not trying it. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I'm bringing this up, ladies and gentlemen, is is that. We also provide life coaching services. And as soon as we get off of this video, uh, we're going to start another life coaching session to go into self-worth. And we'll post a link to it later. I want to thank everybody for watching. Put like in the comments if you have some topics you want us to cover. We'd be glad to talk about them from our, our perspective. Michelle, you got anything you want to tell our audience? Um, um, nothing that comes to mind at the moment. I'm sorry. Tell them goodbye. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was so going to thought. I'm sorry. She, she gets so deep into it. It's like, oh, I, I sent her a text message and it'd be like, well, what does this mean? And I don't yeah, understand. Like, and it's like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's not that complex. Well, maybe for you. I don't know. I'm just, this is all new to me. And yeah. Anyways, all right, everyone. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs> all right. We'll see you all next week.